what are the four big issues that every organization should be concerned about right now as we are thinking about getting back to work and developing this new normal hybrid model that we are all waiting to see how it is going to be unfolding. My name is Beat Chalet. I am the growth architect and a business strategist and I work with organizations from startups to Fortune 100 companies to help them with strategies around workplace unification and leadership development and business. So I asked a bunch of CEOs and C-level executives, thought leaders, and I said, what are we going to need to prepare our future leaders in 2021 and beyond for after this prolonged pandemic? And there's four specific quadrants that they were talking about, which I'll be sharing with you in this video. Number one, it is about safe spaces. Safe spaces is not just a physically safe space, but it is also a mentally and in an emotional safe space for people to talk about what they're experiencing, their fears, their challenges. For a lot of the women, the issues around uh, childcare, double duty, triple duty, homeschooling. And as they come back to work, there will be a lot of stress that is still associated with this. So make sure that you have these discussions. What constitutes a safe space in your organization? Number two, transparent engagement. What is transparent engagement? This is a really interesting thing I've noticed because to every everyone I've spoken to, we are seeing that the greatest results are being achieved in organizations that have the conversations even when they're not even sure on whether or not what they're talking about is going to be successful or they may not even have the solution to everything. So transparency and engagement means that right now, because people know this is a new thing, nobody's done this before, they know you're not gonna have all the answers, but they do need to hear from you because in absence of the information you give them, they will be filling in this information with information that they're receiving. And because you don't know where the news sources are and where they get the information from, that might not be helpful for your business. Number three, diversity of thought. So obviously what we've seen is that female leadership and more female-centric leadership attributes have worked really well in this pandemic. So people, and then we had uh, social economic challenges and we saw that a lot of black and brown people spoke up and say, we've had enough. So diversity of thought is now really becoming not just a buzzword, and it's not enough to put a black square on your Instagram. It is that you have to showcase in your organization, how are you going to make diversity of thought really happen? Quadrant number four is how do you achieve an equitable workforce? How do you get to achieve this new business code that I talk about a lot? The new business code is comprised out of the men's code, what's been existing, what's always been existing about winning strategy powers, uh, persuasion. It's a lot about physical strength. It's a lot about, you know, getting stuff done in the male kind of way. The second part that's been missing, which we are bringing to organizations with the program called the women's code, is we help them understand the leadership side to female centric principles such as community collaboration, empowerment. And then we help them to mesh these two together so that you can create this new business code, which is really a unisex uh, business code, which is what we all are trying to achieve. So I hope this helps you to determine how you need to prep your future leaders for what is coming as we are moving out of COVID. If you have any questions, please reach out. And if you want to read the insights paper, please go to diversify.world and download the insights paper to look at the interviews and the data. Thank you so much for watching this Beate Schlett, the growth architect and goodbye.